Hello everyone and welcome back to another tutorial video. Today I'm going to talk about NEI, one of the most used mods out there. If you don't know the normal function of NEI, it gives you this list here that shows you recipes when you click on it. So if I click on, let's say, this armor, I will see recipe here. And I can also click on this lever to see what else you can do with it. To see what else you can do with the lever, you right click it, just like this when I do on the lever here. And to see how to make something, you left click on it. So that's pretty easy. You can also use this in a crafting table. So let's sheet in some lever. So now we're going to going to make that lever armor. Click here. You can click on this sign here. I don't know what's called in English right now. But then you get ghost images here of all the items you need. But you can also use shift right click to get all the items you need here and as many as you have in your inventory. So you took all my lever and put it in my inventory here. So that's a very useful function. And there's three mo modes to any aim. Rest mo mode, when you only have this section here. And you can also block out items. If I right click on these items here, all items will get removed. If I click it, with, if I left click it, I will open it up. So if I close forestry, for example, and I right, left click it, not right click, left click it, I will open it up again so all the forestry items will be shown again. If I double right click, no, double left click, all other things will be closed. So now, some items is not shown here, so you can't cancel them. But let's open everything up. Let's change to utility mode. Utility mode gives you a trash can up here. You can drag and drop items to it. You can also click it here, so it's get turned bluish, and you see delete mode turned off. Then you can click on items here to delete them. And if you would have have many items in your inventories of the same type, and shift right click, shift left click, I don't know why I keep switching those around today, but shift left click, you will delete all of them. There's also something that's called magnet mode. So you see the redstone here. To pick it up, I need to stand two blocks of, from it or something. But with magnet mode, turn on, I can be 16 blocks away. So now I don't pick it up. No. And exactly when I step on this 16th block, I pick it up. That is the normal functions of NEI. There's one function that most people doesn't know about. It's F7. As you see here, there's a lot of lines on the ground right now. And these lines indicate where mo mobs can spawn during the night. So, here no mobs can spawn, but over here mobs can spawn. And you should note that it drops your FPS for a bit, so right now my FPS is 30, 
and let's see if it changes when I turn it off. And it did. So it's half my FPS. So if you have a laggy computer, you shouldn't use it that often, or at least not running around in the world with it. And you should know that it updates. So it doesn't, it changes all the time, depending on lighting conditions. So it's very good to use. And there's also a third mod, mode, not mod, that's called sheet mode. And here you can sheet in items. By left clicking you get a whole stack, by right clicking you get one stone. You can also change yourself into creative mode and creative mode plus. And as you see here, when I control scroll, I change the order here. It's one function that most people doesn't know about. When I control scroll, I move everything thing, up or down a level depending on which way I scroll the mouse wheel, as you see. It's very useful. I use it often when I build uh, things with red power and such. Of course you can turn off uh, your non knit mode. You can set the time by left clicking. You can also make sure that the time can't be night and such. Then you right click on the time slot and you can at minimum have one of these selected. So now it can only be noon and you can't unselect it. And you just left click it to select it again. again. You can turn off and on rain. So if I click here, I will turn on the rain. It will start soon. I think. At least it should. It might be a desert biome or something. But no, it should start raining. And if I right click here, it will always rain. And if I click it again, it should turn off and right click. Now it will never rain. I'm not sure about the always raining part, but I think it works that way. But I don't know why you would want it to rain all the time. Because rain is annoying. But still, here you have a heal player. When you click it, you heal yourself. And this is one very good section. Let's see here, if, if you build a really big structure and you need a lot of different items and you doesn't want to keep sheeting them in, then you can save your inventory and then you can load it when you want to use those items. As you see here. It's a very useful feature. Let's see here in options. So we can change the layout, as you see here. We can disable NAI, so nothing is shown. I don't know why you would install NAI and disable it, but Somebody might want to. We can change the game mode here, as you saw before when I did it. As you see here, it shows the item IDs. Here too. So when, it, when it's hidden, it doesn't show any item IDs. If you use world edit, it's very good to have item IDs shown. 
highlight tips hidden. I have actually no clue what this function does. So let's skip that one. But there's also AI world options. So if you're running on a server and you're an admin, I think you can do like this. You can change the world option to sheet mode, then every player will have sheet mode, or recipe mode, or utility mode. I haven't tried this on a server, but if I sh change this to sheet mode, and go into here, and change my mode to utility mode, I will still be in sheet mode. So I can't change my mode from sheet mode. When the global option is set. So let's still disable it. I can also disable NI for everyone. Here. And change the layout, I think. And change the options for NI plugins. Here's the controls. Nothing special here. With F9, you can see chunk boundaries. So here's a boundary and a chunk. Just like so. And if you click it again, you get these boxes, the green ones. So it's easier to see. And that's F9. Is there something I have missed? Let's see here. I think... Oh, this is one I had missed. So, as you see in the top right corner, you see crafting table. Now you see, see sandstone. Aquas accumulator. So this is very good when you're new to a mod and you don't know what items are which. So if you have never seen a redstone lamp before. And now when you hold it over redstone lamp, you can see redstone lamp. So it's quite useful. It doesn't work on liquids, it seems. But this is all I have to say about NAI. Do you have any questions about this mod? Please leave a comment. If you like the video, like it. And if you want to see more tutorial videos like this, subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching.